Well, which shell do you really need to wear? What I'm wearing here is a Arcteryx uh, Gore-Tex jacket, which is considered a hard shell. When you're wearing a hard shell, it just basically means that it's a uh, semi-permeable membrane, particularly in this case Gore-Tex, that's used to keep out the rain. Now when you go with a soft shell, that's going to be a more permeable, uh, usually a polyester uh, membrane that usually has brushed polyester on the inside. It's more for dry cold climates than this is, is used as an exterior hard shell for, well, cold wet climates. But it's really cold out here, it's about 15 degrees, so I think I'm going to go inside and we'll talk about it. So. When we're looking at jackets, and particularly in this video, what we're talking about is the difference between, say, a hard shell like this Arteric and a soft shell like this uh, Marmot Estus soft shell. Now, we're talking about two different things. Uh, they will both keep you relatively dry. Now, in my personal experience, the hard shell will keep you the driest, primarily because it's a semi-permeable membrane usually a Gore-Tex, like in this Arcteryx, but not always. It could be a Pertex, like in this OR jacket. The point of the video is to talk about what's the best for you in what kind of condition. If I'm going out and I'm getting in some exercise, say I'm running with the dogs. Now, if I'm doing that and I'm expecting it to be cold but dry, this soft shell jacket, which is actually fairly light, uh, the, uh, the Marmot Estes, this is what I would wear. Now if you can see, there's not much to it. It's a fairly light jacket. If you look at the inside and it has a slight uh, fleece type material on the inside. And I'm going to show you another jacket that's the same thing. But one of the big things about this soft shell jacket is it's stretchy, okay? It's, it's got a little bit of a flex to it. And it's made to be a, uh, a more aerobic type material. The great thing about the OR jacket is, although not Gore-Tex, it uses a Pertex uh, shield uh, proprietary material. It's gonna keep you dry, similar to Gore-Tex. Now, if you look on the inside, you'll see that it is a light membrane. Uh, it's almost got a waxy type material to it. And it's bonded to this ripstop nylon on the outside. So that's actually kind of nice. So you have taped seams just like you would in any waterproof type material. And then a ripstop exterior, which makes it kind of nice. So if it's a wet snow type of activity or a light rain to a medium rain, then I would wear this. Helium 2 is really good. Okay, so what if you're not doing some highly aerobic activity? Say it's stop and go activity. So obviously we have the Gore-Tex with all the seam seals and it is rip stop on the outside. I believe this is nylon. It's either nylon or polyester. I don't know. Maybe proprietary for our carrots on the outside. So this is most definitely going to be a, uh, a jacket that you're going to want to wear when the odds are that you're going to have a lot of rain, wet snow, moisture uh, when you're in a stop and go type uh, activity. So, no different is this uh, Columbia. Uh, I've had this jacket for a while. This is a really good jacket. Uh, it's got the titanium style. And this is a little bit different from uh, the other soft shell that I showed you. Uh, this has a uh, material on the inside. It's not fleece on the inside. Most of them, most soft shells will have a fleeced brushed type material. Uh, this is the uh, Columbia, and this is proprietary, and they put this silver metallic material on the inside so that it reflects heat. Now, this is the Omni heat. If you can uh, look, get a real good look at this. 
even says Omni Heat in it. Uh, you can feel that it's a little bit stretchier, not as stretchy as the first one I show, which is more for highly aerobic activities, and it has kind of a, uh, I don't know, kind of a textured hand to it. It is rather smooth, but there's a difference in the smoothness between the hard shell and the soft shell. Uh, simply put, you know, this has kind of got a almost a waxy feel to it, whereas this has a texture feel to it. This is the type of jacket that you're going to wear if it's a cool, dry day. Once again, maybe some dry snow at best. But this is going to keep you warm in a cool, dry environment, whereas this is just going to keep you dry. It's not necessarily going to keep you warm because that's not the purpose behind it. It's meant to be an outer layer, an outer shell.